Hi, I'm Paul Dye. Welcome back to Kit Plane's Firewall Forward, sponsored by Tempest. Today, we're going to talk about fuel injection. This is one method that works. Whether you buy or build your airplane, the engine's going to have to get fuel. And the, the way you get fuel are two different ways. One is fuel injection, the other is carbureted. Today, I want to talk a little bit about fuel injection systems that you're likely to find on a typical Lycoming engine on a home build. You're going to see several different components. The first is the fuel servo. This is going to mount probably underneath the engine on a, on a typical Lycoming, underneath the engine. It has a throttle plate, and this is where you're going to govern the amount of air going into the engine. You'll have a fuel line coming from the fuel pump, and then on the other side, you're going to have the fuel line coming out and going up to the top of the engine where you're going to find the, um, the flow divider. This is going to then have four or six rigid fuel lines coming out of it, going to one to each cylinder, and they're going to connect to the injector. Very, very tiny little thing, and actually the injector is a very, very small component inside this body. So let's talk a little bit about what you actually need to know if you're going to do maintenance on these. There's almost nothing you can do to the flow divider. It's basically going to be bolted onto the top of the engine. You're going to have fuel coming into it, and you're going to have fuel lines coming out of it. You're going to make sure that you put a wrench on it at, at, uh, at annual time, and just make sure that all the connections are tight and snug, that you don't have any signs of fuel leaks. You don't want to see any blue stains anywhere, because remember, that's going to be fuel on the top of your very hot engine. You don't want a fuel leak there. The fuel injector itself is something that we can talk about when we're looking about problems. We'll, we'll get back to that later. The servo is where you're going to have some adjustments. So there are a couple of components on this servo. First off, this is your throttle side. You can tell it's a throttle because it opens up and closes the throttle plate itself. The only real adjustment on this, there are two of them. The first is your idle mixture. If the, if the, 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 the lever is full this way against this hard stop, that's full throttle. You can tell that if you forget because the throttle plate is wide open. That's where wide open throttle comes from. On the other side of travel, there's a screw here, an adjusting screw, which contacts this stop. And that's going to be the idle position, so the idle speed. And depending upon what your manufacturer for your aircraft and your propeller recommends, you're going to want to maybe adjust that idle speed a little bit, up or down, depending upon your conditions. That's very, very easy to do. I like to do it by running the engine, checking it with the, checking it with the, the, the throttle all the way back at idle, noting what it is, deciding which way you want to go, a little more, a little less, shutting the engine down, then going in and adjusting this, because personally, I don't like working by a big swinging propeller. This adjustment right here is for the idle mixture. And at the idle mixture, you want to make sure to, when, you, when, you're, when you're setting up your airplane, that when you pull the, the mixture full lean to cut the engine off, what you want to see is you want to see a little bit of a rise in the RPM, and then it drops off as the engine quits. If it doesn't do that, if you don't have that little bit of rise when you, when you pull it shut, um, you're going to want to adjust that idle mixture a little bit. And the manual is going to tell you how to do that. Um, so it, it's going to depend upon a little bit about which system you have. This is your mixture. And the mixture control will be connect, connected to your cockpit mixture control. And one direction is full rich and the other is full lean. All right? So the most important thing when you're checking things out here is to make sure that you have full travel. A lot of people make this mistake when they're rigging their throttle cables or their mixture cables that, that they run out of travel and they don't actually contact the stop on both sides. And you have to have full travel on your cables. Sometimes you even have to change where this hole is drilled um, or change the levers themselves. Some manufacturers have different levers that you can use that, that give you different leverage points. So what should you do when you're actually doing maintenance on your aircraft? The first thing to do is make sure that you've got when you've got the, the cowling off, make sure that you've got full travel on your controls. You should hear a nice click on both ends. Make sure that you've got that for both the throttle and the mixture. 
The next thing to do is look for fuel leaks. You're going to want to always take a look at the, at the fuel lines where they come in and where they go out and make sure that the lines are tight. Always check your fuel lines with a wrench. Put a wrench on it. Just take a little pull on it. Don't just trust the, the little uh, dot of, uh, of torque seal. Also, it might, sound, it might sound silly, but check to make sure that the, uh, that the, the uh, servo is firmly bolted to the sump of the engine. Uh, they can work loose. You should have um, uh, uh, washers, lock washers, and, uh, and nuts on there to make sure it's tight. You don't want to have any motion. And uh, make sure that the same thing's true of your air box, that the air box is, is firmly uh, uh, attached. The other thing to remember is that really the only adjustment you have for mixture on these systems is that idle mixture. You don't have any way to adjust for rich or lean at full power. So that's already set for you. Now let's take a look at your fuel injection. If your engine is running rough and you notice a rough running engine where it used to be running smooth, there are several reasons that that, that, that could be the case. You could have an ignition problem. That's usually the primary cause is something wrong with a, a fouled spark plug or an ignition wire going bad or, or some, some, uh, something wrong there. But once you've ruled out ignition, it's worth taking a look at your injectors. So what you do is you take and disconnect the fuel lines the, from the flow divider to the injectors and you pull out that injector and then get yourself a little ultrasonic cleaner. You can buy them at Walmart, they're for jewelry. You take that and you put in some, um, some uh, uh, solvent and your injectors and uh, clean them up. Give them a little ultrasonic job, but make sure you know which injector is going into which hole because they may have been matched by yourself or the previous owner. So you might have to clean them one at a time. Clean them out, put them back in, reattach the fuel lines, and run the engine again. If, that, if the problem was a clogged injector, that's going to solve the problem. It's also important to point out that these are not simple little sockets. There is air which mixes in through this very, very tiny, thin screen. And so you want to make sure that that's not full up with gunk because you've got to have some air going in there as well. So that's really what we wanted to tell you about fuel injection systems. There's not a lot you're going to do with them maintenance-wise except to make sure that you don't have any leaks, that all your connections are tight, and that your controls are operating full range and that the, the, the control cables are attached properly. If that's the case, enjoy your engine. That's it for this edition of Firewall Forward, sponsored by Tempest. Here's what's coming up next time. For now, thanks for watching. Carry on. Okay. <laughs> now I'm getting into the loop of, of if, I don't, if I don't do it the, right the first time, I'm screwed up. <laughs>